Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you three good options for creating infographics. I just got an email from someone asking me for my suggestions, so here they are in no particular order. Let's start with Adobe Creative Cloud Express, formerly known as Adobe Spark. Now, there are lots of templates in here, and you can scroll through to look through all these templates if you wanted to, or just go up here and type in infographic, and you can see right there, it'll suggest infographic, and it comes up with 372 templates for making infographics. Now, you can further refine that by going over here and selecting a topic of education. And then you can see there's some more infographic templates available. And as you'll see in this video, I'm partial to the ones that are timeline format. And that's because I taught history for many years. So I'm going to create from this template my infographic and we'll see it load right here and one of the great things about it is that we'll have lots of options for editing the design and editing the text and of course adobe will also provide you with lots of little tutorials if you get stuck so let's start over here with our color palette. And you can see there's the default color palette, but let's change it out and use this one instead. And then it changes the entire color scheme. And we can go down here and look at other options. That one's a little bit better. Now, let's go over here and talk about editing the text. So just double click on the area that you want to edit. I'm gonna move that over. I just double click the edit the area I want to edit, and I'm going to replace events leading up to, and I'll say causes of World War II, and we can swap out that text over here. Let's say I want to use handwriting, and so I'm going to use my handwriting format. Now, you should note that right now I have this at only 54%. I can zoom in and we can see that a little bit better that way as well. Now, when I'm done editing this template, I can hit that download button, get it as a PNG, JPEG, or PDF. But one of the great things about Adobe Creative Cloud Express is that I can also hit that little share button up there and invite someone to be a collaborator with me. And I'll just send them a little email. And I'm going to invite Max to work on this project with me. Now, I should also point out that if you want to include other artwork, other photographs, you can go over here on the left-hand side, select Photos, and you can search within Adobe's library for images to use or upload your own images as well. Next, we're going to take a look at a, another option, and that is visme.co, V-I-S-M-E.co. And I'm already signed into my free account here, where again, I've selected the infographic templates, and we'll see that we have a whole bunch of templates. There's 1,300 templates available in here that we can customize and you can see there's flow charts mind maps resumes how to's locations statistical all kinds of different options or you can even use a blank template and build it as you go but again i'm going to use one of these timeline style templates just click that edit button and i'm now editing this template to make my own version of this infographic and again you're going to see a whole bunch of little tutorials that pop up when you go to use this and let's say we want to change the header and the text well let's go right there and we can see 
all our different options. And then double click again to just change any element on the page. Okay. Write whatever you want on the page there. And again, over on the left-hand side, we have photographs and you can use the huge gallery that VizMe provides. One of the things I like about it is you can switch from photographs to GIFs to mock-up options. And you'll see there's even a cutout option as well. Now over here, you can also see there's some media options. So if you want to make this a multimedia presentation or a multimedia infographic, you can do that. And then when you're ready to, you can present it or download it and save it on your computer. And you can see there, in this case, I've chosen one of their premium templates. So they want me to pay for it. But in this case, I'm just going to present it and we can view it in an online format. And now the third option is Canva. And if you've been following my YouTube channel or my blog for very long, you know that I love Canva. And in particular, I'm gonna go into Canva and just type in infographic. And when I do so, we're going to find that there's almost 1,800 infographic templates that we can pick from. And let's pick the education theme over here and we'll see all kinds of templates. Let's go ahead and use this one. And when this loads, we'll have the ability to edit anything we want. We'll call this one a timeline of maps. And again, I have this zoomed out. If I zoom in a bit more, we can see it a little bit better. And over here, we have all of the options we could ever want for adding in imagery. We can upload our own imagery. We can look here in the photos collection, text, audio. And if you go down here, you'll find even more options where you can find things like bitmojis that you could use in your infographic if you so desired. Now, when you go to share it, you have a few different options. You can hit the print button. You can also just go to that share button up there and download it in a variety of formats. You can download it as a PDF, as a JPEG, as a PNG, even as a GIF or a video file if you wanted to. But you can also share it and invite someone to work with you. I'm gonna invite Max. He's gonna work on this with me. And so now Max can be an editor on this infographic project with me. So that's a short overview of three good options for creating infographics. As always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.